Hello people, hello people, this is Bio once again from Spirit Owners UK um, This is my weekly video and today is Wednesday the 23rd of um, September um, And I'd just like to seize the opportunity to thank all my subscribers who have been liking my videos and subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button So if you haven't done that, do it now Press the subscribe button right at the bottom, yeah that one, that one, yeah, click on it um, I'd like to thank those who've been supporting me, those who've been sending uh, uh, um, um, suggestions asking questions uh, keep them coming keep them coming that's what gives me a buzz that's what keeps this YouTube channel alive um, I like to thank all those who've been giving me support who've been um, giving me some who've been giving me ideas in different ways thank you so so much God bless you real good um, the last two weeks we've um, covered two very important topics we've covered the importance of aerobic and anaerobic exercises in the fitness journey and what they both are and how they both are essential today i'm going to be covering another topic that is kind of related so there are three major types of exercises there's the anaerobic there's aerobic and there's uh, uh fitness um sorry there's strength strength training so today we're going to i'm going to be talking about strength training and how strength training impacts your health and fitness and its importance so I'm going to start off quickly by defining what strength training is and what it is. So um, you might wonder, um, is it relevant? Do we need it? Do I, can, I, can I just go out and just do my running and not do any form of strength training? Is, that, is, that really, is it really important? But yes, it is. You know why? Because strength training is to apply a load and overload the muscle so it needs to adapt and get stronger. And that's a definition that was given by Neil Pyre, who um, did a bit of research on um, strength training. It is also a mus uh, strength training is also mus muscular strength is also determined by how much force you can exert or how much weight you can lift. Um, obviously, we know strength training enables us to develop our muscles, helps to make them stronger. So that when you're doing your um, uh, cardiovascular exercise, your aerobic or your anaerobic exercise, your muscles are strong enough to be able to take the pressure that you put your body through. So that's why it's so important. And besides, if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you don't use your muscles, if you don't exercise your muscles, you begin to lose your muscular mass and it also affects your all these things are tied together. It affects your posture. It affects the way you run. It affects the way you walk. And it affects your overall fitness. So the muscles and the nerves um, and the joints benefit from, mus um, from strength training or muscular training. So as a matter of fact, it's so important that the government recommends doing muscular strength strengthening activities twice weekly plus 150 minutes of weekly moderate intensity activity at minimum to help reduce, and listen to this, hypertension and low risk of heart rate, heart, heart, heart disease. So, sorry, a low risk of heart disease. So there is a connection, you know, guess what? The, the heart is a muscle as well. So when you're doing your strength training, um, you, you know, and you exact all that energy, you know, you're actually benefiting your heart, you know, you're um, not only benefiting your heart, you're also burning fat when you're doing strength training. As a matter of fact, people may not realize that. Now, my watch actually tells me how much fat I, how much fat I, I burn um, and how much carbs I burn whenever I do, do exercise. And when I do strength training, I'm amazed to notice that it actually records a high percentage of fat as uh, the calories I burn when I'm doing my, my, my exercise. So it's really important and it, could, it really helps. So um, you're looking to add strength or resistance training to your routine. You have a lot of options, that's true. So now the, um, the reason why is because people sometimes think when we say strength training that you have to go to the gym, you have to pump iron. Well, that is one form of strength training, but that's not all. There are loads of other options. So you definitely don't need a gym membership or expensive weight machines. Um, uh, this is, I'm, con I'm continuing to talk about 
the research that was done by um, uh, Neil Peer that I was talking about earlier, who defines strength training. You definitely don't need a gym membership or expensive weight machines, he adds. Squatting on a chair at home, push-ups, planks, or other movements that require you to use your own body weight as resistant are also very effective. And they're also some form of strength training. I have a video in which I covered um, using resistant bands for those who want to, don't want to use weights. Now, resistant bands are very good for strength training. Um, I've also recorded uh, uh, or recorded sessions where I've done planking, for example. Very, very good for strength training because it's your body's weight, your body weight that you're using, you know, as uh, for resistance. Um, so you can use your body for resistance. You can use resistant bands for resistance. You can use weights for resistance, and all those three. You know, and maybe other most of other exercises you can do that involves using your body weight are all ways that you can um, do some form of strength training or muscular training. Now, there's some benefits of of strength training that I like to cover. But before I go into that, um, you might I, I like to share my own personal experience. So. For, for years, I ran without doing any form of strength training. And then um, when I got to university, um, I then decided I was going to use the gym. You know, I said, you know, just decided I was going to start doing some strength training. And to my amazement, I noticed a difference in my running. I ran more eff efficiently. I had less injury. And my running form was solid. You know, I was able to run for longer miles without it really having much impact on my body. Now, I still do strength training now. I don't go to the gym. I've got my own weights that I use at home. And I've also got resistant band. And I also uh, do planking. You know, so I use my body. I use my body um, uh, for my body weight for strength training. And it does make a difference to my running form. Um, just... Uh, last week, I ran 47 miles. That's close to 50 miles in a week. Now, that's a lot. Obviously, I'm, I know I'm doing that because I'm training for the 40th anniversary of the London Marathon, which is going to be in, I think, about a week now. Or, 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 yeah, not long, not long now. Um, so I'm, I'm raking up all the miles. But my point is, because I do strength training regularly, at least I do it once a week, at least once a week, um, it helps my running form, helps my stamina, helps my running form, helps my uh, uh, helps me to run more efficiently, helps my body to be able to take all the pressure that I'm putting it under when I go out for my long runs. Even if you're not doing running, you need to develop your mus your muscles. You need to keep them active so that they're stronger, so that you don't feel weak, and so that you help your circulation, you help your nervous system. And guess what? Your reflexes will be even sharper. So, you know, there's quite a lot of reasons why you should actually seriously consider strength training. Like I said to you, you don't have to do the weights. You can just get resistant bands. Um, if you are not subscribed to my Facebook um, uh, group, which is the Spirit Runners UK group, uh, ask, go on Facebook, search for the group, and ask to be invited, send an invite, and I would uh, accept your invite so you can see tips that I also put on my on the Facebook group as well. But um, I think I covered um, resistant bands there, and I, I, I actually put a picture or link of where, you know, you can get them from. So, you know, you, you can get that if you don't want to use the weights. Um, however, you can use the weights if you, weights are your thing, you know, or you can combine them. Like I do, I combine all three of them. I use weights, I use resistant bands, and I also use my body, um, my body weight for for strength training. So I'm now going to quickly go into the benefits of strength training, so you see why you should seriously consider this because it's really, 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 really good. Now, strength training, you may be surprised, but this one supports bone health and strengthens your bone. Because guess what? Every time you um, carry weights or every time you um, use your resistant band, your bone, which is part of your musculoskeletal system, 
gives you support. And every time you use it, you strengthen it. You know, they say if you don't, you, if you don't use it, you lose it. But because you're using it, you're actually strengthening your bone structure. You know, you're supporting your bone uh, health and you strengthen your bone. So that's essential whether you're young or you're old. But obviously, as you get older, you need to get more active so that when you're older, your body doesn't become stiff and creaky. You know, you want to still stay active and agile. So strength training does help support your bone health and strengthens your bones. Um, strengthens your bones. Another um, benefit of strength training is it makes aerobic exercises more productive, preventing injury, preventing injury. And that's I've just shared my experience. You know that I found that when I started doing strength training, my aerobic exercise, which I do, which is my long runs, you know, became more productive, and I also experienced less injury. So I'm a living witness to the fact that that is true, you know. Um, so seriously, you really, really need to add that to your fitness journey if you're not doing if you're not doing any form of strength training. It facilitates healthy aging. Now, um, healthy aging comes when, for example, you don't have problems with your muscles, you don't have problems with your joints, you don't have problems with your bone. Why? Because it helps you to develop all those three. Your nervous system, your bones, your musculoskeletal system becomes stronger. So as you get older, you actually feel younger. Your age, your, your biological age is younger, even though your, no, your biological age is maybe older, but your, your, your medical age is actually younger. So you have the body of, you, you might be 50, but you have the body of a 35 year old or the body of a 20 year old because you're very fit. And, and part of that is your muscles and your bones, which you, know, you help to develop when you do strength training. Um, benefits your heart, like I said earlier on, your heart's a muscle. Every time you do some form of strength training, you are actually benefiting your heart as well. Because guess what? When you're doing the strength training or resistance training, the circulation is, is, is you know, your heart rate goes up, your circulation is increased, and all those factors do help to keep your heart very healthy because your heart is a pumping machine. It's your heart that's responsible for creating the pressure to pump blood through your blood vessels that carries oxygen to your muscles and keeps you healthy and keeps your organs, give your organs what they need to stay healthy and alive. So can you see the connection? It's really, really good. Um, it improves your balance and helps you lose weight. Very, very true. Like I said to you, I noticed from my watch when I do strength training that the percentage of fat that I burned as calories is actually quite high. The first day I lose it, I was like, <gasps> I was shocked. I didn't think that, that you know I would burn that much fat, but I did. So if you're looking to lose weight, you need to add it as part of your uh, fitness cocktail, for want of a better word, you know, because that you know helps you. It actually helps you to burn burn fat. Um, it also helps you to improve your balance. And I, I said to you, I noticed a difference in my running form when I started doing strength training. You know, my legs were stronger. My core was stronger, my, uh, my chest was stronger, my shoulders were stronger. So when I was running, I had the right posture. And that if you have the right posture, it gives you a good balance. Not just when you're running, but also when you're walking around. This, the difference is clear when you're doing strength training. I have to say that I have noticed that in my body. Um, makes you look and feel better. Yes, it does actually. Um, now, it makes you look better and makes you feel better. You feel strong in yourself. You know, you feel better because you've got a good posture, you've got good definition, you know, and you know that um, because you're not doing just strength training, you're also doing aerobic and anaerobic exercises. You've got a good cocktail of exercises that keep you fit and strong. Remember, the focus of this channel is that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So God enables you and motivates you strengthening you to be able to look after your body which is his temple because you owe him to look after what is given you um you know and to keep it ticking uh, uh, if, uh efficiently every day 
Because if your body is healthy, you'll be able to serve God more and you'll be able to live longer and fulfill your God-ordained calling and your God-ordained destiny, which is important. So it does tie together. When you look after your body, you're doing something spiritual. You're doing exactly what God wants you to do and God will reward you. I hope you found this video beneficial. Please send your questions in if you've got questions. If you want to... Um, if you want ideas of where to get stuff, just send your questions in and I will answer. Like I said, I would also like to encourage you to join our, our Facebook group, Spirit Runners UK, all one word. Type it in and send a request to me and I would uh, uh, accept your invite. And on, on there, you can see updates of me running. You can see articles and you can see suggestions that I give for different um, areas of health and fitness. Anyway, people. Thank you so much once again. Like I said, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button because that encourages me to get more content. I've got a lot more exciting stuff coming along, guys. Really, I'm going to, you know, well, I'm not, I'm going to keep on a wrap so that you know, keep on, keep on coming. But I've got loads of good stuff. I've got interviews scheduled that are coming that are very, very informative and very educative. So you will, you will definitely gain a lot from this channel. Thank you so much once again for all your support. For your likes and for your comments and for for remaining subscribers and for all your support and all your kind words I'm really really grateful may god continue to enable you and strengthen you to keep on looking after your body for you can do all things through christ who strengthens you thanks once again for watching this video god bless you and have a good week see you next week bye